This is your Tech News Briefing for Tuesday, December 20th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. India has earmarked a vast tract of land in the Prime Minister's home state as the location of a roughly $20 billion semiconductor fabrication plant. As part of the plan, it signed on the manufacturing giant Foxconn and the India-focused commodities powerhouse Vedanta Group. The tie-up would represent the biggest corporate investment in India ever. It's all part of India's efforts to boost high-value manufacturing, something that, up until now, it's trailed its regional rivals on. So what'll it need to do to pull it off? Joining me to talk about that is WSJ South Asia correspondent Philip Wen. Hi, Philip. Thanks for joining me. Glad to be here. So India has these ambitions to get into advanced chip making. Can you tell me a little bit more about how it's planning to do that? So they've basically announced what starts off as a $10 billion incentive. That includes essentially a whole range of subsidies and financial incentives for chip manufacturers to set up fabrication plants, fabs as they're known, by providing 50% of the upfront capital costs back as a as a kind of rebate and that it's seen as a rather generous incentive but also a necessary one given that India doesn't really have an existing semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem and to attract the bigger players there needs to be some kind of incentive to get them into the country given that there is quite a lot of competition in terms of other countries doing similar programs. There's one site in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's district. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so the the place is called Dalera. As you say, it's in um, the state of Gujarat, which is where the current Prime Minister Narendra Modi was formerly chief minister of the state. It's sort of a state that has a reputation for being a rather business-friendly And it does have quite a significant manufacturing industry by Indian standards. Dolera itself is pretty much a blank slate. You know, it's something that, you know, Mr. Modi had ideas about developing what is basically a large, sprawling tract of marshland, you know, basically a whole group of villages and trying to make use of it because it wasn't in his view, he wasn't doing much, and he had visions of sort of developing it into a, a more futuristic advanced manufacturing hub, much like, you know, China has Shenzhen in the country's south. What are some of the hurdles to getting an advanced semiconductor industry off the ground? I think the main hurdle is the sheer complexity and difficulty in terms of making semiconductors. It's something that experts say are just about one of the hardest things to manufacture given, first of all, the type of workforce, the trained workforce that's required, the experience that's required to get this off the ground and the sheer cost as well. You know, semiconductor fabs takes billions, if not tens of billions of dollars of investment just to get going. And then it's years to set up and then years after that to even potentially break even. So we know India wants to get this semiconductor industry sort of rolling in the country. But what other kinds of advanced tech manufacturing does India have at the moment? So essentially, not all that much. India has been encouraged by recent strides made in manufacturing, particularly in making cars and in assembling mobile phones, but it's still not really all that proven when it comes to that next level, you know, the really high tech end of manufacturing and the advanced manufacturing space. And also it has long had a sort of reputation for being somewhere that's hard to do business. Um, so these are kind of the the challenges that, that India face in terms of trying to shift that perception. Let's dive in a little bit more to that bit, because why pursue advanced chip making in the first place? So it's a confluence of factors, really. One of the main ones is basically India's observations of what's happened over the past couple of years in terms of, in particular, the pandemic, but also its worsening ties with China and the desire to manufacture more locally, including semiconductors is basically an attempt to decrease its reliance on Chinese imports, in particular electronic imports. 
so that's that's one of the main motivations. Another one is because of the pandemic. It's really wreaked havoc on global supply chains and has made moving things around in general a lot more expensive. And so again, it makes sense from a Indian perspective to try and hedge that risk and to to make as much uh, as possible within its own countries. So how long then until this sector is off the ground? It's probably still years away. What we're looking at are sort of firm commitments uh, in terms of plans to get to make investments and get things off the ground. They've located in terms of Foxconn and Vedanta, which is the highest profile investment announced in terms of building a, a chip fab in India. But they've located the site, they've been out there to look at it, and they're, they're likely to start construction, you know, early next year. Even then, it will take possibly around 2025 before the first chips roll off the production lines. So you're probably looking at about three years before they get things off the ground. All right, that's our South Asia correspondent, Philip Wen. Philip, thanks so much for joining us. Not a problem. Thank you. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. For more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.